When I was five years old, I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon, and I knew then how I wanted to spend my life. I was a child of the Star Wars and Star Trek generation, and I saw my future in space, warping off to alien worlds. I wanted to scuba dive in college because it seemed to me the closest thing to exploring space, and also because I knew that NASA used scuba divers to train astronauts. It doesn't look like NASA is about to develop warp drive anytime soon, so the only alien worlds that any of us are likely to explore will have to be reached without a rocket. I found the ocean a great place to explore, and I've had some awesome scuba experiences in my day, but scuba has never given me that feeling of being in Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Starfighter. Seabird High Performance Low Cost Toad Submersible. I'm here looking for funding because my company would like to build a whole bunch of these. Seabird is something closer to my dreams than anything that exists in today's reality. This is early testing of our prototype submersible. Seabird represents a quantum leap in submersible technology, by far the fastest and best maneuvering personal submarine in the world. If underwater is a lot like outer space, and in many ways it is, think about it really, it's like the outer space of our childhood fantasies. Strange green things, and strange and fanciful creatures of wildly varied appearances, and intelligent life too. We're just beginning to understand how clever certain sea mammals can be. So if underwater is a lot like outer space, then scuba is like, well, going on a spacewalk. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but seabird. Driving this machine feels just like I always imagined it would be to fly Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter. Fly upside down, spin around, go straight up or steeply down. Operating Seabird is like nothing else in this world. It's literally like living something out of a childhood dream. And the way it works is really so simple. You see, you can't run an internal combustion powered engine underwater, so all subs today are battery powered, which really limits the sub's capabilities. We turned the problem on its head by designing a tow system that propels Seabird by pulling it with an ordinary surface vessel. You get all the power of internal combustion, but as Seabird has no propulsion system of its own, it's actually far cheaper than existing subs. Seabird is controlled with a joystick, just like an aircraft or spacecraft, and the magic of our proprietary system is that Seabird simply goes where its pilots steer it. So I built a company to develop Seabird. We've designed the 2 and 3 seat production models. Now we need your help to construct a certified 2 seat model so that we can begin demonstrating Seabird to interested customers. Our goal is that anyone will be able to dive Seabird in places like the Caribbean, soaring through the underwater world among beautiful corals and exotic shipwrecks like no one's ever done before. Just think about the impact that Seabird could deliver in exposing people who've never been underwater to the ocean's magic and its challenges. Because when someone dives the ocean and they like what they see, the ocean gains a valuable advocate. Forget the cliche, but wait, there's more! One of the advantages of breakthrough technology is all the great fringe benefits. In the first two years, we expect to create 25 to 35 full-time positions just in manufacturing the subs. Subs sold to U.S.-based tour companies will create even more American jobs, about eight full-time positions for every sub sold. Now listen to this part carefully because it's really important. I happen to have a handicapped son, so no doubt I think about these things more than most. I realized early in the testing of Seabird that diving the sub is magical and therapeutic. It's easily operated by just one hand. A great opportunity for the disabled to be able to manipulate their bodies in three-dimensional space as aggressively or as steadily as desired. As a military veteran, it was then an easy leap to think about disabled vets and what a great program would be to be able to take these most deserving individuals on Seabird tours. From there, it was a logical notion that, hey, military vets, even disabled vets, would make great tour pilots. Their proven in positions of responsibility and working with our equipment would be a natural for them. The pilot position itself is a sitting position. Anyone with good cognitive ability and one functional hand will be able to pilot the sub. So that's why I'm helping to establish a nonprofit entity in Tampa, Florida called Subs for Vets that will put disabled and non-disabled vets to work, operating and piloting Seabird Tours. 
Money earned by paying tourists will be funneled back into the program to subsidize tourists for disabled customers, making it a win-win deal for everyone involved. Honestly, how cool is that? There are so many exciting possibilities we hope and expect to accomplish, but first we really do need your help. We need to hire a specialty consultant to run sophisticated engineering analyses to ensure Seabird's structural integrity throughout its unique operational envelope. Please look over our contribution levels, and if any of the awards are talking to you, we'd be grateful for you to answer them with a pledge. Thanks for your interest in helping making underwater exploration an exciting and inexpensive option for everyone. I cracked myself up because I saw my spit flying at the camera. Yeah. Thank you, Mark.